grand rising beautiful people happy monday to you all uh, i hope that everybody had a fabulous weekend and i thank you so much for joining me if you have been following my videos and these messages have been touching would you please 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 subscribe to my channel like and share i would love for these um readings or spiritual guidance that I do to be more interactive and I would like to do them live but in order for me to do them live I need a thousand subscribers so please help me to reach that goal so that we can have a more intimate kind of like the eat and elevate summer series that I did last summer on IG where I get to talk to you guys and see how this message is resonating with you so please 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 subscribe and tell a friend to subscribe as well today is January 13th and this reading is going to be from January 13th to 19th but really it's a timeless reading which means whatever you should happen to come across this reading it could be because it's gonna be on YouTube so it could be a year from now whenever you see this message this message is meant for you um, but right now is the week of the 13th through the 19th we're gonna start by lighting our chalice to ask uh, my spirit guides to come in for guidance and direction and protection and so that we can get the most accurate readings for you guys we're gonna open up that sacred space just wanted to let you know that this week starts my famous Fuck it, it's $40 sale. It's going on now. I'm going to be posting on my website. Um, I'm moving from Instagram, so stay posted to the website, www.madebymetools.com, so that you can stay familiar with all the updates. And if you want updates directly to your um, email address, please sign up for my mailing list, which is also on my website. You can go. I send out coupons. I send out early access for those who are on my mailing list, deals, and events that I'll be doing. So please sign up so that you can stay privy to what's going on so I have a message for you before we even touch the cards this is a message that I've been hearing since Thursday night it's been playing in my head on a loop just this one single sentence so I have to get it across and the message today it piggybacks off of last week's reading so if you haven't checked that out please go back and do so and we were talking about finding purpose and how a lot of us are answering the call right now you're seeing 9 11 you're seeing 11 11 it's about finding your purpose and your place here in this world and the message that I've been hearing and this is very specific is you don't have to be a saint to be a server one more time, you don't have to be a saint to be a server because what you guys are stepping up into is going to be helping your community no matter what you do if you make dolls it's going to be bringing joy to children if you're a healer you're going to be healing your community if you're a teacher you're going to be healing with wisdom some of you know exactly what you're supposed to do but you feel like your lifestyle does not permit you to be a person to speak on certain things or to do certain things you're like i like to get my drink on i curse i like to party all the time how can i possibly work with children you're not going to be partying and drinking with the children are you so you can do have a lifestyle and also serve your purpose. You don't have to be any one way. In order for you to do what you're meant to do, you're not supposed to put on another costume. You're not supposed to play another role. You're supposed to take your unique individuality and apply that to what it is that you're supposed to do. And what's holding a lot of you back from serving in your purpose is you feel like an imposter. It's called imposter syndrome. Who am I to do this? Who would listen to a person like me? Your magic is very needed in this world and no one else can do it like you so don't think because even me i'm being moved deeper and deeper into ministry I've, I've been ministering for the last five years now my business is almost five years and if you take the tarot cards out of my hands and you put a bible and you take me out of this office and you put me in a church i'm a minister right but i'm not any particular way i'm just me and god has been telling me i didn't help you to find your most authentic self so that when you get a new title you can um revert back to a role this is what this is who you are and this is who you are when you're supposed to serve all right so anybody thinking that they need to be a certain way in order to do what they're being called to do no you do not have to be a saint to be a server i've also been told to uh, point you guys in the direction of the song alabaster box and it's about a woman who she does she feels shame right People look at her like an outcast, right? But she still has a purpose and no one knows what she's been through. No one knows the pain in her alabaster box. So I want you guys to go listen to that song when you have a minute. It may touch some of you in different ways. I've been listening to it. Very inspirational. But please know that you don't have to be a saint to be a server, okay? So as such, we're going to... Look. Look. As I open up the deck, the spiritual teacher card, right? So you see how she has these robes and stuff, you know? 
you can be this if you want to, but you don't have to be this to be a spiritual teacher. Um, I have found at home this year, I've dedicated myself to Unitarian Universalism, which is a religion that celebrates people finding their own individual spiritual paths. They're very heavy with social justice as well as being supportive of everyone and accepting of everyone, especially the LGBTQ community who doesn't find homes in other religions or spiritualities. It's telling you that no matter if you're Jewish, Christian, Hindu, if you're Taoist, whatever it, whatever it is, you don't have to dress in robes. You don't have to speak in a certain tone and yes, my child. In order to serve, you just have to be you, all right? So we're going to do a reading today and it's going to talk about whether you have a job, a career, or your purpose, what you can do to improve in those areas. So we're going to do ooh, stuff flying out at me artists some of you are artists some of you are artists but you don't uh feel like people will receive your work and they will okay if you're thinking about starting a business right now is your this is me giving you your confirmation that yes that's the direction you should go in if you've been going back and forth and you're like i'm gonna watch this reading and see this is your confirmation to tell you yes go for it okay if you've been thinking about uh becoming an entrepreneur or starting a business all right also, Jesus, um, I've been working very close with Jesus. Everyone has their different views of Jesus, the Son of God, Ascended Master, a teacher, a healer. I've been working very close with him. He's also in the song Alabaster Box, it's who she's going to. Um, I talk to Jesus, and I, even though I'm not a Christian, I love God, my gifts are from God, and I love Jesus, even though I'm not a Christian. So I work very closely with Jesus. Pray to Jesus, talk to Jesus, Jesus holds me down and tells me which way to go. So um, that's someone I would definitely suggest that you get to know on a deeper level. So whether you have a job, a purpose, um, or a career, this is going to tell you what you need to do in order to be more successful at it. Okay, so that's the reading we're going to be doing today. Increasing those finances, increasing your happiness at your job, all that good stuff. So let's see what the cards are. some clarifiers The king and queen of pentacles. This is telling you that if you serve your purpose, the money will come. The king and queen of pentacles came out. This is saying, as long as, listen, if you stay focused on your purpose, the money will come. If you build it, they will come. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yes, I love this. I love this. Okay. So, the first card that we have here is healer. I've been telling you, telling you guys... Again, you don't have to be a doctor to be a healer. You don't have to be a nurse to be a healer. You can heal through wisdom. You can heal through laughter. You can heal through love. This is saying that you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Some of you are being called to be ministers, to be spiritual leaders, to be um, doulas, to be music healers, to be art therapists, things of this nature. This is paired with the Queen of Pentacles card. And as you see the Queen, she's sitting there, she's pretty, she's not worried about anything, like definitely not her finances because she has this big chest of money here. And every coin in this chest, she earned herself. So what this is telling me is that in order for you to increase your finances, you have to find a way to provide a healing situation for somebody. So even if this is like, let's say you work in insurance or something like that, and somebody's going through a really hard time, if you really try to be there for a specific client, like this is just an example, right? Like say you've had a client and she's going, it's an older woman or something and she's going through it and you really like take time out of your day to make sure like her claims go through smoothly. You see if there's anything extra you can do for her. 
I see like your boss will see what you're doing or upper management will see what you're doing and you'll be praised for it. You'll be promoted, you'll get a bonus, you'll be looked at for a different position which may suit you better. But it's important that you implement a, um, an aspect of healing into whatever it is that you do. You have to do for the next person. Yes, it's important to make sure, you know, self-preservation. But right now in your career, no matter what career that you do, by you focusing your energy on making someone else's life better, you will increase your own vibration. You will increase your own good karma, your own good vibes coming your way. Look, I was going to do like clarifiers, like front, like between the two decks, but the message that I'm seeing here also, before we get into that, there's a sense of partnership because I'm, I'm being drawn to the king and queen together, right? So I got to tell you what I see, right? So look at the king and queen together. Now, what I like is here is although they're not looking directly at each other, they are facing each other. A lot of the times, like one is, is it'll come out like this and one is looking away, you know, they're looking away from each other. This is a time where there are going to be people who you are meeting either through work who have the potential to become a working romance. This is when divine partnership is happening because the two of you together are more powerful than you guys individually. The king and queen have worked very hard to make themselves whole, right? She's not looking for any handouts. He's not looking for any handouts. They don't need to be supported, but they are willing to support others who are already doing that for themselves, right? And so this is telling you that this is a time where, especially if you've been single for a long time and you have a purpose in healing, right? It's because the right one is going to come along. Someone who's going to serve the purpose together so you know like what's this uh devon franklin and megan good you know how like they both have i mean she used to be an actress but now like she's doing a lot of activism and things like that how they're together and they're married but together what they do is serve the world serve a higher a higher purpose like david and tamala man you know they have their their works their books and their music and stuff that helps to serve a higher power. So a lot at this time, a lot of um, divine masculine and feminine are coming together because God needs you to serve a higher purpose. This is especially for the, again the people who have been single for a long, long, long time. You see how she looks like. Um, this is the Nine of Swords card. It's all about uh, staying up at night. If you're going through depression, if you're going through extreme loneliness, if you're going through grief, if you're going through pain, right? Do you see how the sun, let me try to focus it. Ooh. Okay, see that? You see how the sun is coming up in the window, but she can't see it because she's so used to the feeling of disappointment. She's so used to the feeling of things not working out. But in this time that she's been by herself, she's been studying, right? She's been becoming more of who she is. She's been learning more about herself because she's going to go from feeling, and this is whether you're a man or a woman, she's going to go from feeling like she's alone and doesn't have a purpose in the world or doesn't have a person in the world to feeling like the queen. She's going from the nine to the queen when she does see that there is someone out there who is meant to serve with her. This doesn't mean that she waited for that person. It means that, again, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't mean that you're waiting for that person to come along. You're getting yourself together and whole so that when that person comes along, you guys are ready to hold people ready to serve the world. So I just want to send some love out to those who are feeling this pain because this is deep, deep energy that I'm picking up. You may be having nightmares. You know, you may be feeling like giving up on life altogether. Please be hopeful. Know that the sun, you know, but the sun will come again. Maybe one day in the future. Okay, the sun is coming, right? The sun is coming up and you're going to see the different possibilities. And what's going to happen is, see, what's going to happen is, I'm, see, the tarot reading is taking me in a different direction than I thought. See, I thought I was going to do one thing and the tarot was like, no, no, follow this direction. You're going to be giving birth to something new, a new relationship. It will likely, very highly likely, be a romantic relationship. But that is not the main purpose of this relationship. The main purpose of this relationship is for you two to get together and serve in something that is higher than yourself. 
but it may lead to giving birth to a new business, a joint business. It may be a new child. And maybe you guys get together and you feel like your whole lives is meshed together to the point where you're going to want to have a family or start a family together. Um, as I mentioned, healers and doulas, again, we get the pregnant lady. She's very pregnant, right? This is also feminine health because in her little, um, what's this called, scepter over here, it's divine blood. It's divine feminine blood or menstrual blood. It's the blood of life. It's the blood of creation. So if you're thinking about being a doula or you're thinking about helping women with infertility or polycystic ovary syndrome or anything that deals with breast health or women's health, this is definitely your confirmation that that's something you should go down. It's also speaking about food medicine because I'm noticing the trees in the back. Food medicine that help, and I'm hearing women and hormones, anything that you have to, uh, any uh, feminine issue that deals with hormones, whether this is hair loss, whether this is, like I said, breast health, whether this is weight gain, if you've been called to do anything, if you've suffered from this thing and you're overcoming it, and you want to start a support group or you have overcome it and you want to show other people how to overcome it this is your confirmation that this is the way for you to go we also have the hero font card which is the teacher card which is you see the two people coming together so that they can teach this is a lot of divine masculine and feminine energy coming together for creation because that's what it takes for creation masculine and feminine energy so whether you're creating a new business or whatever what have you there's a lot of teachers coming people who will travel i see traveling all right so you're going to get together with your partner you may be going from event to event or festival to festival or city to city or town to town you're getting together and the reason you had to wait so long to find this person is because both of you had to be whole and there's no like um, time limit on it. When you know, like when the t student is ready, the master, uh, the teacher appears. This is the same kind of thing. When both of you are ready, then your partner appears. This is marriage. Some people are coming together in marriage, right? Some people are working with people who they are going to marry. This is just really great energy of serving a higher power or serving something greater than yourself. So I like that energy. The other thing I'm seeing is oracle cards as far as your careers and finances and stuff. People think that tarot cards are just for predictions or just for tarot readings. You can use tarot and oracle cards for so many things. If you are a therapist, which is another form of healing, you can start off the session. Maybe you're a client. I don't know where to begin. Okay, well, let's start with one oracle card and it's healer. Okay, well, where do you feel that you most need to be healed? You know, or where do you do that? You can use this for therapy. When I wrote my book, Metamorphosis, it's a devotional journal, which is on sale right now for $19.99. It's on my website. It's a 22-day uh, evolution devotional journal. When I wrote that, I modeled it after The Fool's Journey. And I also have another book called uh, fool's journey tarot guide for the quest inside i modeled that after the um major arcana in the tarot and i was inspired by each of the cards so i would meditate on the card i would think for a little while and then i would write the uh portion of the book right so it can be used for so many different things when you feel stuck when you need to make choices between this and that, when you need to teach somebody about a specific thing. You can use oracle cards for many things. So right now it's being suggested, suggested that if you do not have oracle cards, you should pick up a deck. Whether it's this about your career, maybe you just specifically want to know about your career. Maybe you just specifically want to know about your love life. Maybe you specifically want to know about your purpose or your past life. Or you want to get a traditional tarot. It's telling you that this will give you a little bit of guidance and no matter what to do even if you go to a regular you know a nine to five if you're an administrative assistant and you say please tell me the energy that is going to be going on today and you should happen to pull the five of swords which is a, a card of conflict you know okay maybe there may be some fights at the office today i'm gonna stay to myself i'm gonna make sure that i don't get involved in anything if somebody is trying to goat me into an argument i'm going to stay level-headed because the card says that the energy today is very chaotic is very hectic no matter what you do, you could use tarot cards, all right? So think and consider getting some oracle cards to help you in what, especially if you're a creative, if you're an artist. If you're an artist and you're a writer or you're a painter, I don't know what to paint today. 
pull a card if you pull the empress it's probably going to do something with femininity with motherhood with children with birth with newness you know all of these themes come to your head and that's going to inspire you in your work so don't think that tarot is just for predictions it can be used for so many more things than just that there's this girl she uses it in her artwork they're not actual cards but they're miniature cards i was watching her on instagram and she puts them in these plastic molds and she makes dishes and ashtrays and stuff out of them multiple multiple uses so this may be helpful to some of you the other thing i see about our careers finance our careers finances purposes and jobs right now is environmentalism as we know our brothers and sisters in australia are dealing with the brush fires due to the climate change if you can donate please donate um people donate in different ways and do in different ways if you are a fire sign you know passionate you may be on the ground level actually helping to clean up you know if you are, it doesn't mean this necessarily like you have to be this sign to do this i'm just saying like if you're earth energy it may be something that you can donate actual money to right if your energy or your spirit is more air energy you may be thinking of um ways to prevent this from happening in the future policies to put in place or ways to move forward and if you're like water energy you may be out there um helping to heal those people who are devastated helping them emotionally helping to support them any way that you can help please do help right so that's one message coming through but also it says you're an earth you're an earth angel who was born to protect nurture and teach about nature and the animals Whatever you do, if you put an eco-friendly twist on it in your job right now, an eco-friendly initiative, it will definitely be beneficial. Whether this is you work at a daycare and you're trying to get all the kids' plates switched from, you know, plastic to paper or whatever it is you're trying to do. If you're working at a big corporation, making sure that... Um, if you're working in the environment, you're trying to leave less of a carbon footprint, right? If you work with animals, this is a time to tell you to work. If, um, if you've ever been interested in working with animals, service dogs or saving the animals, activism, protesting, veganism, anything like that. Any of those things, like for instance, the Golden, I believe it was the Golden Globes, their menu was all vegan, right? This year for the Golden Globes, stuff like that. Whenever you put these eco-friendly initiatives into your job is going to increase um how good you are being received right now how well you are being receptive so uh environmentalism definitely comes up and then we also have crystals a lot of you are energy healers a lot of you are crystal healers. A lot of you need to go ahead and get that Reiki certification. A lot of you need to go ahead and get certified in yoga. A lot of you need to learn about healing touch or how to utilize your pendulum and, or use crystals. I do my chakra balancing using crystals to balance your chakras. There is amethyst. This is that purple crystal back there. There's amethyst in this card. Amethyst is um, correlated with the crown chakra on the top of your head. It's also, see, I got my purple on today. And this is purple. Everything I own is purple because it's my favorite color. Some of you are receiving, or most of you are receiving downloads from your higher self, but your crown chakra is a little blocked. And so you may not be hearing the messages correctly, or they may be slow to get to you. Get an amethyst sitting on top of your head. Do some meditation. This opens up the crown chakra, right? It's also calling for you to meditate, to know your next steps, okay? Take a second and pause. There's a few of you who are hyper ambitious, and I know about this, like, and before you even let the paint, the, the ink dry on your last deal, you're already on to the next. What else can I do? What else can I do? I can do this and I can add this and I can add this and I can add that. Slow down, all right? Take the time to look at where you've come from. This is a great time to evaluate the goals that you've had three months ago, six months ago, a year ago. Are they still the goals that you have now? They could have changed and there's nothing wrong with that. You could have wanted to be... Whatever it is that you've wanted to be since you were six years old and now you want to completely change that. That's perfectly fine, all right? But take the time to evaluate. Don't do too much. Right now, the energy is telling you do fewer things well, really, really well, than trying to do more things just kind of good. You get what I'm saying? Focus on a few initiatives. Focus on one project at a time instead of trying to focus on 15 
project because we live in this hustle society no days off you know all this kind of stuff and that's not i read in the in my um i'm doing the purpose driven life uh, devotional journal and it said never confuse activity with productivity don't think just because you're running yourself into the ground that you're being productive because you could be doing one or two things and doing that extremely well then doing kind of all right in the many many things that you're doing okay so these are the messages that I have for you guys today it's time to step up there is no really way to say it. it's time for you to step up if you've been living a life on the hamster wheel, which I call it just every day seeming, you know, groundhog day seeming to go the same over and over and over again, that's because what scares you is exactly what you need. Everything that you want is on the other side of fear, on the other side of fear. Do not feel as though you are an imposter. Do not feel like you can't do it. Do not feel like it is unattainable or, you know, it's just too big of a dream. You are absolutely capable of doing it and you're being called to do it. I see your love life is on the other side of fear. I see your dream career is on the other side of fear. I see your perfect circle, your social circle is on the other side of fear. I see the end to the deep-seated depression and anxiety and the grief that you are feeling being alleviated on the other side of fear. God will make you uncomfortable where you are so that you grow. Just like seeds in the dirt, right? You get tight, they're tight. But they're forced to grow from that, right? So you're, you know, just like diamonds, you got to put pressure on on coal in order for them to turn into diamonds. That's what you're feeling right now. You're feeling a disconnection. That pain is a disconnection from your true self. It's authenticity that's being called for. Okay, it's your purpose. It's not just going to make money. You can't eat money. If you die, what is money going to be? You know, money is not the end all be all. It's a purpose, okay? Chase your purpose at all costs. And if you need help discovering what your purpose is, book a reading with me. Again, I have my sale going on this week. Fuck it, it's $40. $40 for a reading to get more guidance and more clarity and more direction on exactly what it is that you need to do to feel your best you. So thank you guys so much for allowing me to do this reading. Again, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so we can do this interactively. Uh, I will talk to you guys on next Monday. And until then, peace and blessings. Peace.